Hello lovelies, welcome to Nakpoo Formula. My name is Freedom, thank you for joining me. Um, today's episode is why the narcissist plays the victim. Um, there's a very specific reason that they play that specific role and I want to break it down to you in two, three uh, easy to understand points. So this is for anyone who is either still in a relationship with a narcissist or is having to co-parent with a narcissist or has escaped a narcissist or been discarded by a narcissist um, and is wondering why they always seem to feel like they've done the wrong thing why you know they're the one who's being blamed for everything that's going wrong right so there's three main reasons i've got some notes so i'm looking down that's what i'm doing so number one so they want to be able to, the narcissist wants to be able to um, attack you and say horrible things about you, but by playing the victim that allows them to do it in such a way that it, you know, it's kind of like it, you know, it's like um, they're blameless because, you know, after all, in, in their mind, you know, you started it, you were the one who did blah, 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 that set them off. So then they could say and do X, Y, and Z, right, in their mind. But in reality, obviously, it's a different thing altogether. But in their mind, and not just in their mind, like, you know, they're, they're telling you quite clearly that it is you, that it is your fault that they're saying these things, you know, or doing these things. And they will say to you, you know, they'll do something, I don't know, maybe go and, you know, sort up, um, hunt up some new supply, end up having an affair, cheating, whatever. They will say to you, or that's when we were broken up you told me you told me to get out you told me we were over right forgetting the fact that in actuality they started the fight they kept it going they heated it up they um, added the fuel they really got that fight cranking so that they could use it as an excuse to leave essentially all right so number two so during the discard they play the role of the victim so that, you know, for two reasons, that they don't want to take accountability or be held responsible for anything, you know, so they can do the whole, you know, oh, she left me. I was such a good man and she left me, which, you know, the, the irony is just, whoa, mind blowing. But that is what they're out there saying. Believe me, that is what they're out there saying to anyone who will listen. She left me. I was such a good man. I tried so hard. I gave her everything she want, wanted, you know, and she still did this. And she, and they'll say everything that they do to you or did to you, they'll say that. She did this. All the things that they actually did. And they'll get you know, sympathy from it, because that's my next thing is the fuel. So point three is the fuel that they get from playing the victim. People going, oh my gosh, she sounds like such a bitch. You poor bloke. Oh, you are such a top bloke. Imagine putting up with that for all those years. You know, gee, mate, you're a stronger man than me. All of that fuel. You know, look at the obstacles he's overcome. You know, he was with that crazy ex-woman. Look at what he's had to live through. All of that fuel gushing all over them. You've got to remember, narcissists live in this, you know, this made-up reality. And it doesn't really matter what, you know, what is being said, if it's real or not. In the narcissist's mind, you know, it's real because people are saying it. And they're getting the fuel and the fuel is real. So they get to take no accountability, you know, no one's holding, you know, holding them accountable saying, well, hang on, you know, takes two to tango or hang on, what was your, you know, part in this whole thing? Or no one is saying anything to them because what kind of person attacks a victim? You know, what kind of a person would actually say to someone who's crying or who's so upset or who's been traumatized so badly, what kind of person would actually say, well, hang on, what did you do? Like, what was your role? No one's going to say that. And the narcissist relies on that. They know that. So it's perfect. They play the victim. They get the fuel and the sympathy. They don't have to take any accountability or responsibility. And they can say so much stuff about you. And people are just going to say, oh, well, you know, 
know, she put him through hell. Like, she really, she did. She put him through hell. So when he's ranting and raving and calling you names, you know, oh, it's justified because, you know, he, like, he's been really victimised <coughs> by this woman. Like, she's a real bitch. <coughs> But that is what they do. This is why the narcissist always plays the victim. All right, lovers, if you'd like to hear some more about these kinds of topics, I'm going to link a playlist here, um, and it's all about NARC 101. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you, darling. Bye.